Hello everyone, I'm Karthik and in this video we are going to create this Vellum setup. So let's get started. Uh, I'll create a geometry network and let's call it sim. I'll change the color and we'll dive inside and let's create a grid. First thing is that we need to create our stair setup, say stair shape. So I'll change the grid size to 2 by 0 0.5 so we have a rectangular shape grid here all right let's change the rows and columns to 3 by 30 so we have three rows and 30 columns all right uh, what i want is i want to bend all these points i'm going to change the position of these points um, perpendicular to this this plane here okay so what i'm going to do is i'll first create a group i'll call it bend change it to point change the bounding box and let's include everything and then just move it like this so we have only these section of points here in our bend group create a transform node now uh, we want to apply all these transformation to the bend group only okay so let's move it up something like this and then we will move it here in this direction so we 0.25 in the positive z direction so this is what we will get this is looking nice and after this what i want is i want to create uh, a stair shape so let's create a copy and transform node and this way we will be able to create a lot more instances for this shape here uh, first let me move it up like this and then i'll move it in the negative z direction i'll just move it here i'll keep it here so they are sitting almost on each other So maybe I can go to the side view. Let me visualize the points here. And I want them to align on top of each other. So if I move it in the negative Z direction something like this I can go to the perspective now and we'll change the total number here to 20 and now we have our stair setup stair shape uh, but they are not connected so we will use a fuse node here all right before the fuse node we had around 1800 points and after that we have 1230 points which means a lot of the points are which were sitting on top of each other are now fused together okay i want to change the shape of this i want to change the shape of the stairs so what i'm going to do will probably increase the size here so i've increased the scale to 10 in the x direction and 2 in the z direction okay so this is what we are getting i'll use a remesh node because for our cloth simulation we want a lot of triangles here okay so i'll change the target size to 0 0.05 and now we have a lot of triangles a lot of points which will be excellent for our vellum simulation 
what I want is I want to create a group and this is going to be our pen group which will not move initially so this will be based on this views so let me create a box and then I'll use a transform node because you want to cover all of these all right inside this box okay so maybe I'll increase the size like this so now we have our box that we can use in our group as a bounty box so this is what we are getting and this is going to be our pinpoints all right now i'm going to use a vellum cloth constraint and as i said a lot of times in my previous tutorials that uh, the vellum cloth constraint provides our mesh with two very important properties of cloth one is the stretchability and the second is the bendability or foldability welcome to the stretch section here stiffness here controls how stretchable the cloth is going to be all right uh, so we want this to be quite stretchy or maybe a bit stretchy so i'll keep it at around 1 million the stiffness and we want it to be quite bendy so i'll decrease it to 0 0.000001 okay after this i'll create a vellum constraint node so this vellum constraint node what it does is it creates pin to target constraint okay so we'll create the pin to target constraint we will allow this pin to target only to happen on pin group okay the specific group that we created here we want this pin to target constraint to apply to those that that specific group come to pin type and we will change it to stopped okay and now when we use a vellum solver we'll connect it to vellum solver and we'll change the force to zero as we'll create our own forces and inside the vellum solver we are going to create a lot of forces here okay so the first force that i want to create is a pop force As you can see in the preview that the cloth is flowing quite a bit so i'll change the amplitude here to something called amplitude to 5.3 so this is going to be our pop force i want the cloth to be flowing in the uh, positive y direction that is uh, up so what we are going to do is we'll create a pop wind and this wind is going to give a constant velocity to our cloth to go up and i want it to be one and amplitude can be somewhat yeah 1.05 maybe 1.1 1 1.1 .1 will will work fine and after the buff wind i want to apply some drag here so i'll use a pop drag and not that much i just want the air resistance to be 0 0.1 and finally what i'm going to do is i want to apply a pop access force which will um, create a access force so it will create it will generate this kind of force uh, which will be somewhat like tornado so the cloth is going to rotate here or right, and it will also go up so let me increase the radius first mm. something big 
and also increase the height something that will cover almost everything okay and now maybe we can move it properly so that it is sitting correctly on our stairs here so move it somewhere in the middle okay so this is nice and if i run the simulation now let me turn this off if i run the simulation now let's see what we are going to get i'll also change the frames here frame range here to 150 1 to 150 let's run a flipbook <laughs> 